Hello friends and welcome into NBA Now. I am Tom Downey, alongside me is Harrison Graham. The NBA trade deadline is still a few hours away, but we do have the details on the finalized Miami Heat and Memphis Grizzlies trade for Andre Iguodala. It's a pretty hefty trade here, Harrison. Several pieces being shipped out. Here are the details. We'll talk about the Gallinari Thunder side of this in a second. But for now, this is the finalized two-team trade. Andre Iguodala, Jay Crowder, and Solomon Hill go to the Miami Heat. Justice Winslow, Deion Waiters, and James Johnson going to the Memphis Grizzlies. Yeah, and leading up to the trade deadline, you wondered is, could Miami find suitors to take on Waiters and Johnson's contracts? Because keep in mind, they, they're they under contract through next season. Now, mm -hmm. James Johnson is a player option, but he's going to exercise it because he hasn't done much the last couple of years. But the Heat get Iguodala. Obviously, they wanted to get another veteran-proven piece next to Jimmy Butler. I wonder how much is left in that tank. Uh, quite personally, we should mention too, Tom, uh, unless something changes, he has agreed to a two-year, $30 million extension yes. with the second year being uh, a team option. Miami wants flexibility for 2021's free agency. If you want to let us know who you thought won the trade, type G for Grizzlies, type H for Heat. But that's what we're working with right now. Iggy, Crowder, Hill to Miami. Winslow, Waiters, Johnson should mention too, a young piece with that young core and Justice Winslow heading back yeah, to Memphis. Justice Winslow, clearly the focal piece of this trade for Memphis. Yep. So much so, they're actually taking on added years. The salary ends up being even. The Heat have yeah. to be careful because they, they're hard cap. They can't go over. But Waiters and Johnson both have two years left. That's not the case for Crowder and Hill, who I assume will be gone after this year ends. Yeah, I mean, Hill could get bought out, quite frankly, after the deadline. That would not surprise me. But either way, they're gone after this year. So Andre Iguodala, again, the, the main name in this trade. We kind of wondered, you know, the Lakers have been interested all along. They, they the didn't Mavs have, were linked. They, yeah, but those teams didn't want to trade for him, per se. They didn't want to trade for his $17 million contract. They were hoping he would become a buyout candidate. Miami decides he's worth the trade. It's an interesting move here for the Miami Heat. The extension is probably the most, oh, really, part yeah. of that there. Now, there is a team option tacked on the, the second year, the second year yeah. of that extension. Provides the Heat with flexibility to maybe go out and add an impact player in free agency. Well, and remember, in 2021, that's the whole idea Miami wants uh, with this trade and with possibly Danilo Gallinari as well, who we will talk about momentarily, is they want flexibility heading into 2021 free agency when a lot of big names are going to be on the market. This summer isn't as uh, top-heavy in terms of uh, big-name talent, so they're saying, okay, two-year extension, Iggy's with us next year. If we don't sign a big fish in 2021, we'll exercise that team option, keep him on board in 2020. Now, if you're like us here, you love sports, and that means you kind of forget that Valentine's Day coming up. You go from the Super Bowl to the trade deadline, and then shoot, it's Valentine's Day, and you forgot about <laughs> it. Don't do that. Head over to ProFlowers. It's chatsports.com slash flowers. That's chatsports.com slash flowers. It's, that link saves you 15% off not just flowers, of course, but also gifts. So head over there right now. If you get it done quickly here, you're not going to have to pay for the rush shipping, and thus you'll end up saving money on top of it beyond the 15%. That we're giving you right now. And my main reason is I don't want to go to the store on February 14th and battle all the crazies trying to get their loved ones flowers. Just do it with Pro Flowers, 15% off. They will deliver it to your significant other on Valentine's Day. You don't have to take care of any of that. They will do that for you. Now, while that Heat Grizzlies trade is official and it works and it's finalized, there is still the possibility a third team could end up being involved in that. It's Daniil Gallinari and the Thunder. That trade talk appears to have kind of stagnated here between the Thunder and the Heat, so the, the Heat and Grizzlies went in and pushed that one in. It could still end up including, though, Gallinari as part of this trade. The problem is, is his contract, his cap hit, you know, 20, 22 million, whatever it is, and the Heat want to get another score next to Jimmy Butler. Gallinari certainly fits the bill. Iggy's not going to provide a ton of scoring for this, more of a defensive mindset in Andre Iguodala. It's just how do you make the money work? I think that's the it's sticky tricky. point right now. Plus, on OKC sides of things, they don't just want to facilitate a trade when they're in the playoffs right now. Like, they want to get a proper return 
for Danilo Gar Gallinari. So they're working through those details. Uh, ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski is reporting this could be all the way up until the deadline to try and uh, get this third team involved. But we do know for sure the two-team side of it is finalized. It's just a matter of if a third team like OKC gets in the mix. Frankly, what the Heat might have to end up doing here is trying to bring in a third team to make this uh, work. Fourth, because team. fourth team. I guess yeah. a fourth team and just maybe a three-team trade between Heat Thunder and somebody else. Yeah. But it, it gets complicated here. They're trying to work out an extension for Gallinari, which – in theory, could help kind of reduce the, the, the money side of it long term. But it is tricky right now for these two sides. So we will monitor the Gallinari potential trade. But as of right now, it is a two-team trade between the Grizzlies and the Miami Heat. That one appears to be set and done. Yep. Now we're going to keep you up to on all of the trades that happen here today during the live NBA trade deadline. And we'll recap all the trades on the channel. And we'll do winners and losers. So if you want that, Hit that big red button and subscribe today to us here. And make sure, by the way, you have notifications turned on. That way, you're not going to miss a single NBA video from us here at Chat Sports.